and we're going to show you some tips and techniques for spray applying cellulose insulation to walls. With me is Rick Chitwood, who is owner of Chitwood Energy Management Services. And Rick, it's pretty important to get a good job when you do this. It's fairly simple to do it, but what are some things we should look for to get a good insulation job when dealing with spray cellulose? It is very important to install it properly. Um, minor installation defects can reduce the performance of wall insulation up to 50%, typically in the range between 20 and 50%. So it's very important to look for three things to assess the performance. The first thing is the insulation must be in contact with the air barrier on both the outside and the inside. So once the drywall is installed, it's important that the insulation touches both of those. Fully fill the cavity, in other words. Exactly. The second thing is we don't want any voids or gaps, any air spaces in the cavity. And then the third thing is we want to make sure that the insulation isn't compressed um, at a too high of a density. Now what density should we be putting this in here? And how do I know I got enough insulation in the walls to make sure it's doing the job that we want it to do? Well, the system's fairly immune to installation defects. It, if they put too much water, too little water, it may not even stay in the cavity or it'll be too wet. So as they spray it in, the system is, is very good at applying the proper amount of moisture and density. You know, because if it's sticking to the surface and not falling off, it's not too wet or too dry. Now, I have exactly. some here. Um, I was under the impression, and I think many people are, that this actually is a lot wetter than it is, but this is really pretty dry. It is. It comes out of the bag near bone dry, and then they add about 25% moisture as it's applied in the wall. And the adhesive that goes that makes this stuff stick is a non-toxic type adhesive? Yes, it is. Now, what, what are some other things we want to look for as we're actually applying this material? I mean, it, it looks to me like it might be difficult to get this in behind some of the pipes and so forth. Any with, techniques? With the you... wall spray system, it's fairly easy to make sure that the cavity is fairly filled. Um, they can easily angle the nozzle to spray behind pipes, behind electrical outlets. There are several areas that are typically difficult, things like electrical outlets. Um, behind you is the big tub in the master right, bathroom. Yeah. They were even able to spray behind it and make sure that that hard to insulate area was done very well. You know, it didn't take them any time at all to do it. They filled that area up pretty quickly. Exactly. Now, what about retrofit applications if you're retrofitting a home that already has drywall or plaster on it? Um, on those type of applications, they drill holes in the wall and use a fill tube to, to put cellulose in the cavity. So they aren't able to spray it in then, but they can fill the wall cavity with cellulose and do a good job. Now, how many uh, bags does it take to insulate uh, a certain area of square footage, and how many bags per square foot can you get? That depends on the coverage chart, um, the thickness of the walls. Typically, it takes a bag to do about four feet of wall area in a home on these two-by-four oh. walls. So a bag goes pretty long way. Yes, it does. Rick, all homes have unique framing conditions. How well does spray cellulose work in those situations? The system works really well at all the hard-to-insulate areas. Behind you, there's a narrow stud cavity, and the system works great at filling narrow cavities such as this from the back clear to the front and making sure that there's no gaps or voids. Um, other difficult to insulate areas such as rim joists are easily filled completely with the spray applied cellulose system. And they're usually pretty tough areas to insulate. They are. This home actually has a third hard to insulate area. There's a round turret in the entryway that would be normally very hard to insulate. And this system takes care of an area like that really well. What about R values for two by four or two by six walls? With a two by four wall as we have here, we get R13. With, if the home were framed in two by sixes, we'd get R20. Well, Rick, thanks a lot for being with us. Appreciate it.